Hi everybody, this is Con. I'm at the media launch of the all new Lexus LS. But before I show you the car, okay, I'm going to take you through some of the uh, side exhibits that Lexus has brought in to the launch event. So, what you see here, these are this is a piece of hand folded cloth. Okay, this is hand folded. Okay, uh, that is sub that you can specify this as an option. Okay to put on your door card so instead of like the usual uh, leather finish or fabric uh, finish on the door card you can have this handcrafted hand folded piece of cloth to stick on your door card yeah looks <laughs> looks gorgeous and looking at how how nicely folded these pieces of cloth are right now I feel very malu looking back at how I fold my own clothes at home lah. Okay, so this uh, handcrafted uh, pleat door trim okay, comes in a set with this Kiriko glass uh, trim insert. Okay, so this, you see all this, uh, this pattern, right? Okay, this is, first of all, this is a piece of glass. Okay, and all these patterns are hand machine. Well, they, have, they, they, they operate a machine and the, the, the craftsman will actually guide the piece of glass by hand toward in order to achieve this pattern so this piece of glass plus that cloth there is a 90 over thousand ringgit option yeah so the Lexus LS base price is about 790,000 uh, goes all the way up to 1.4 million for the top spec model this option 98,000 ringgit the price of a brand new Vios, uh, but you may think if you think it's expensive, right? Uh, here's another thing to add, another point to add in. Even if you have that ninety-eight thousand to spend on this option, you may not necessarily get it because globally, such is the intricate nature of this, uh, you know, this accessory, this uh, option. Lexus only offers sixty units of this worldwide per month so every month only 60 Lexus LS cars in the world will be delivered with this Kiriko glass and hand pleated cloth option okay so your other options for your door trim will be any of these three uh, wood panels lah. okay so that's done let's adjourn to see the car okay so here we are with the LS globally there are three engine variants okay uh, offered with the LS all three petrol powered and all three actually are 3.5 liter v6 engines there's a base 3.5 liter uh, NA engine that is not offered in the Malaysian market not that I see a point of it because next up uh, we have a 3.5 liter twin turbo which is the one that's being offered in Malaysia okay this uh, this version packs 400 and 416 horsepower okay and 600 newton meters of torque so very powerful this is more powerful than the bmw 40i engine almost there with the 50i uh, against mercedes mercedes the newly facelifted s class will also have a 3 liter inline six at least 400 uh, 400 horsepower mark and also audi also has recently launched a 3 liter v6 uh, at this power level uh. so yeah so this is the base base engine for Malaysia. Alternatively, there is also a hybrid model, okay, that is offered as the range topping variant. So the V the twin turbo V6 comes with a choice of luxury and executive trim, whereas the hybrid model uh, has is exclusively offered in executive trim. So all in three uh, variants for the Malaysian market. Prices start from 790,000 ringgit going all the way to 1.4 million ringgit before you include that, you know, that door card option. Ah, yeah. So speaking of the door card, let's have a look at how the Kiriko glass and that folded cloth thing appears like when you install it in the door. So, yep. So this is it. So as you can see, it's folded pleats here and this glass panel this whole glass panel and this is duplicated at the rear door 
here. Okay, it's cloth, glass, and look at the Mark Levinson speakers. Oh, nice. So this is this looks very very atas, very very mahal. And you come and look further here again. Okay, let my friend there finish taking his pictures. Huh? Okay, all right. Thank you. Okay, so you see here this has this this uh, panel, the power window panel. Okay, from here it looks like you know it has a f uh, floating appearance, although underneath here there's this little supporting strut lah. But you know it's, it has a very nice floating appearance. It looks very um, classy and typical of Lexus. The material selection, even when you take all this out, right? Okay, even all the the standard materials look very good. Feels very very plush. God. It's beautiful. This interior is just beautiful. Okay, so let's step inside. All right. Okay, so let's. The most uh, interesting feature of this cabin design is this part. How this runs nicely across the cabin. Very beautiful. Okay, and all this stitching and all these materials. My God, it just feels so nice to touch. And uh, there is also, this version has a heads-up display and you have this, and all this switch gear feels very, very solid, very nice to touch. Okay, press all these buttons and previous generation Lexus models, uh, one of their biggest weaknesses is that despite having exceptionally good build quality, right, their switch gear give you the impression that they were just taken off a Camry or an Altis. With this new uh, LS, okay, I get the I have I definitely get the feeling that I've not seen any of these buttons in a Toyota before. So uh, full marks to Lexus for giving an extra um, effort in differentiating the car. Okay, okay, this is this lid opens up to cup holders as well as a 12 volt socket that's stowed away nicely. Very nice, very nice. Okay, this is door the sorry, this is a gear lever and this is a touchpad for you to interact with the infotainment system. So as you can see this is the infotainment screen here across. Uh, there's no, no touch function. Okay. And that's my good friend Chips. Yep. Hi Chips. Hi. Right. Love box. And yeah. So here is Here's this, uh, this armrest, press this, oh, wait, hang on, let's try it again. So press, it pops up and it opens very gently. There's a, the mechanism feels very nice, very smooth. Okay, and yeah, so inside here, you've got another 12 volt socket together with the, with two USB ports and an aux jack. Okay, there's this tray here, it slides forward and back, very, very nice. Okay, this, I, you know, I mean, price-wise, the Lexus LS is very disadvantaged against the Mercedes S-Class and the BMW 7 Series because these two cars, they took advantage of uh, Malaysia's EEV incentives to, you know, to offer you plug-in hybrid variants at low prices. Uh, Lexus, for starters, do not assemble their cars locally. So, as a result, uh, price-wise, they are severely disadvantaged against the uh, equivalent S-Class or 7 Series. But when you sit inside that cabin, okay, I mean, you disregard la, all the story about taxes and all that, right? At the very least, you can feel that Lexus spent way more effort, way more, you know, there's way more meticulousness in the way Lexus crafted this cabin compared to what uh, Mercedes and BMW offers you in the S-Class and 7 Series. I mean, if I was to sit in this, definitely the feeling of luxury is way more convincing than what I've experienced um, in the S-Class or the 7 Series. No doubts. Okay, so, ah, so here, here in this center armrest, there's a touch screen. Yeah, so this, this one's a touch screen. Isn't this move? Okay, so I can adjust, adjust I can adjust the seats. Yep. Nice. Okay. And come back to the home screen. Okay, so here lid cup holders. 
and this one opens up storage box another two USB ports here very nice and this is a decently useful size box you can like put your mobile devices or your wallet or keys or whatever in here okay this lip opens ah inside here this is a fridge I believe this is a fridge is it the fridge yep this is a cooler box so you can keep your your, your drinks here chill oh my god look at this even this panel now don't be now you see this this is not carbon carbon trim ah. it's just because of the 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 work at the sunshade that give you the this shape or this pattern on the on the plastic but look at this this even this area where you are not likely to touch at all this is made of high quality materials so yes definitely if you were to to you know to look at an S class or 7 series versus this an S class or 7 series will trump this in value but definitely I sit inside this right this feels you know built and crafted with way more effort yeah so the feeling of luxury in this car definitely way more convincing than that of its German rivals so the what do you call that this slogan for this car is forged from passion so I don't know if the driving experience uh, of this car will measure up against the 7 series which let us not forget that is the handling benchmark of this segment nor do I know if it will be as comfortable as the S class but one thing for sure this interior trumps both its German rivals fairly fairly easily the old quality and luxury that I get sitting inside here right it feels just one rung below a Rolls Royce yeah I mean if I were you know shopping for a flagship and if I know that I'm going to be I'm going to be chauffeured around and I've got a little bit more money that I don't have to worry about the incentives I definitely give this car a very good look and I would love to be amongst the, the elite few to own one with with these glass panels and this is it makes the car looks feels so premium feels so luxurious okay so that concludes my brief walk around of this beautiful all new Lexus LS okay do check this car out in the, in the, at the nearest Lexus showroom if you are you can find for it I think the experience definitely is worth worth you know worth the trip if you are a Lexus fan or if you just like to to, to see what it is like having luxury inside the car yeah so until my next video thanks for watching bye for now